Orlando, Florida is home to the best theme parks in the entire world. But did you know that the Orlando area is also home to some of the best non-theme park attractions? In this video, you're going to learn about 10 outdoor and 10 indoor attractions all located within 30 minutes from the theme parks. Starting off with Orlando's Top 10 Outdoor Attractions. Number 10, Old Town Kissimmee, featuring a 4.6 out of 5 star rating on Google. There is nothing quite like Old Town Kissimmee, let me tell you that, because this attraction has been around for years and features shops, kid-friendly attractions, live music, car shows, restaurants, and more. You really will love walking up and down the streets of Old Town and taking it all in. Number 9 is the Central Florida Zoo and Botanical Gardens featuring a 4.3 out of 5 rating on Google. Located just 30 minutes north of Universal, the Central Florida Zoo is the closest zoo to the theme parks. Now obviously Animal Kingdom is considered a zoo as well, but if you're looking for a non-theme park style zoo, then this is your place. Because you're going to encounter over 100 animals, a train ride, zip lines, beautiful gardens, and more. Number 8 is the Winter Park Scenic Boat Tour, featuring a 4.8 star rating. If you are looking for one of the most unique things to do outside of the theme parks, then the Winter Park Scenic Boat Tour is just for you. You're going to enjoy a one hour guided tour of the lakes of Winter Park, where you'll be able to see some wildlife, beautiful homes, and go through canals. Number seven, Conga River Golf Kissimmee, 4.7 out of five rating on Google. If your family is like ours, then wherever you go, you must find a mini golf course. And Conga River Golf in Kissimmee is by far the best one here in all of Central Florida. I recommend playing at night when it's not as hot so you don't have the sun beating down on you. Number six, Marsh Landing Adventures featuring a 4.7 rating. I cannot recommend enough taking some time away from the theme parks to experience an airboat ride. While you will find a bunch of them near Orlando, not only is Marsh Landing Adventures one of the best ones, it's also one of the closest. You can experience a one hour, a 90 minute, a two hour, and even longer tours. Number 5, the Orlando Star Flyer, 4.7 out of 5 rating on Google. Calling all thrill seekers, come take a ride on the world's tallest standalone swing ride that takes riders up 400 feet above International Drive. This thrill ride offers the best views of the area and I recommend riding during the sunset. While the Orlando Star Flyer is a little bit scary, and keyword right there is little bit, you have to do it because I call it a healthy scare that you did not know that you need in your life. Number 4, Orlando Tree Trek Adventure Park, 4.7 out of 5 rating on Google. Get ready for a fun experience because you will find 97 different aerial challenges and a 425 foot long zip line at the Orlando Tree Trek Adventure. This attraction is fun for kids 6 and up and is as much fun for the kids as it is the adults. Seriously, I had a blast doing this and I'm 40 years old. Number 3, Wakaiva Island, 4.6 out of 5 rating on Google. Now once you visit this one of a kind attraction, you will never think that the theme parks and the busy Orlando area is less than 30 minutes away. This watering hole offers canoes, kayaks, paddle boards, delicious food, strong drinks, live music, but most importantly, a great way to cool off from the hot Florida heat. Number 2, Gatorland. 4.6 out of 5. It is impossible to visit Orlando and not see a billboard for Gatorland. And for good reason, because Gatorland is a great attraction that offers close encounters to massive gators, live demonstrations, zip lines, kid activities, and so much more. Kids will also love the Barnyard Petting Zoo. I really cannot recommend Gatorland enough. Orlando's number one attraction that's not a theme park that is located outdoors has to be Discovery Cove, featuring a 4.8 star rating on Google. 
While this is not classified as a theme park, Discovery Cove is an experience that you'll not find anywhere else. This all-inclusive paradise features experiences that you're never going to forget. Seriously, this place is phenomenal. Obviously, the highlight is the one-on-one -on -one dolphin encounter, but it's also hard to beat the unlimited food and drinks in the other animal attractions. The Grand Reef is just incredible. Swimming alongside of other fish in this setting is something that is truly a must experience. Now, I did not want to include Disney Springs and City Walk on this top 10 since they are huge entertainment attractions that are located next to or near a theme park. While I recommend you checking out both, I just wanted to explain why they're not on this top 10. If you are looking for great ideas to take a break from the heat, then I highly recommend these next 10 indoor Orlando attractions. Number 10 is Wonderworks, featuring a 4.3 out of 5 rating on Google. Get ready for hours of fun in this hands-on attraction. Wonderworks offers over 100 exhibits that will challenge the mind and spark the imagination. I really loved the Extreme Weather Zone area the best. Now if you're in the need for some speed, then you'll definitely want to check out this next attraction. Number 9. Andretti Indoor Karting and Games 4.3 out of 5 rating Located right off Universal Boulevard near the brand new Epic Universe theme park, you're going to find a great attraction for all ages. Because once inside, you're going to be able to enjoy go-karts, laser tag, interactive bowling, and so much more. But the highlight attraction here has to be the go-karts because they are so awesome. Number 8 Main Event Orlando, 4.3 out of 5 rating. This is the place to go for bowling in Orlando, especially cosmic bowling. You're also going to find escape rooms, rope climbs, blacklight mini golf, billards, and arcade games all under the same roof. Number 7, Sea Life Orlando Aquarium, 4.4 out of 5. This is the largest aquarium in the Central Florida area and is a great alternative to SeaWorld. I highly recommend checking this place out so you can experience Florida's only 360 degree ocean tunnel. It really is something else. While it's not the largest aquarium by any means, Sea Life Orlando will provide you a few hours of great entertainment. Number six. Orlando Hello Tours, featuring a 4.8 out of 5 star rating. Now get ready to take in views of the theme parks and the International Drive area from 1,000 feet above sea level. One cool thing about this attraction is that there's no age requirements and kids under 2 years old fly for free. You will find two different locations all within the main Orlando tourist area. This really is such a cool experience that everyone needs to have and honestly you cannot beat the price. Number 5. Desert Land Park Featuring a 4.5 rating on Google, they market themselves as Florida's largest indoor attraction. And under this roof, you're going to find something fun for everyone. From axe throwing, a Cinemark movie theater, go-karts, bowling, a trampoline park, to the Orlando Auto Museum, you really can spend hours and hours here while never having to step foot outside. Number 4. The Escape Game Orlando featuring a 5 out of 5 star rating on Google. Get this, this Orlando attraction has over 12,000 reviews on Google and still offers a perfect 5 out of 5 rating on Google. You will find 7 different escape rooms inside, all offering their own theme and storyline. And if you've never done an escape room before, then you're really missing out. Now before I share with you my final three recommendations, if you are enjoying learning about these top 10 things to do in Orlando besides the theme parks, then all I ask that you do is please give this video a like. Also, for your convenience, you'll find the website for every attraction that I mention on this top 10 in the description of this video. 
Number three, out of control dinner show, featuring a 4.8 out of five star on Google. While this is not the largest dinner show around or the best produced one money wise, what you get from this is a great magic show that is filled with oohs and ahs, laughs, smiles, and more. Believe it or not, but this is actually Orlando's longest running dinner show. You honestly cannot beat the price and the good time considering that you get a limited pizza, salad, beer, wine, soda, and dessert. Number two, I Fly Orlando Indoor Skydiving, 4.6 out of five. If you've ever wanted to fly before or secretly think that you're a superhero, then you have to check out iFly. This experience is so surreal, it is really hard to describe. Once you're floating in the wind tunnel, it just feels, well, different, but different in the best way possible. I recommend checking out their website for discounts to help save you some money. And now for the number one indoor attraction to beat the Florida heat. The Wheel at Icon Park featuring a 4.6 star rating. Not only is Icon Park a must visit attraction and is home to some of the best restaurants on iDrive, not to mention, but it's also home to the Orlando Star Flyer and Sea Life Orlando as I mentioned earlier in the video. But the truth is, you will love the staple attraction here, the gigantic Ferris Wheel. You will embark on a 20 minute ride that's going to take you over 400 feet above International Drive that's going to give you views of the surrounding area that you will not find anywhere else. From atop, you'll be able to see Walt Disney World, Universal Orlando, Epic Universe, and SeaWorld Orlando off in the distance. Overall, the Wheel of Icon Park is a must experience attraction and the best part is the gondolas are climate controlled. But for the best views, I recommend riding during the day or during a sunset. While riding at night is really cool, you really can't see too far off in the distance. Now if you're looking for a hotel along the International Drive area that offers a great rating and budget friendly, then be sure to check out this video right here where I share with you the top 10 hotels on iDrive. So which Orlando non-theme park attraction do you like the best and which one are you most excited to check out? As always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and keep riding coasters.